Southern Woods and Waters TV That's where you want to be Foggy mornings in the field Come the creek with rod and reel Doing what we love in Tennessee Patriot Demolition presents Southern Woods and Waters with Hugh McNaughton and Brandon Dowdy. Also being brought to you by Sniper Hunting Products, Deer 30 Minerals, Candy Fork Outdoors, West Stone Cry Like Realtors, TWRA, Capital Sportsman, Nashville Marine, Davidson Farmers Co-op, Courtney's Restaurant and Catering, Mowing and More, CVA, Wilson Bank and Trust, Flowers Processing and Garden Center, X Out Odor Products, and Hunter Up. All right, welcome everyone. I'm Hugh McNaught. And I'm Brandon Dowdy. And we are? Southern Woods and Waters. I'm telling you, we love this thing. <laughs> we love this. We do. It's a... It's, uh, more and more every day. I Are believe. you tickled about the weather? I have. I have been. It's been great, man. I've been I, excited. I noticed the hair on your arms stands it straight stay, up. It stays that way from about the last week of October <laughs> till about January the first. This is great. Yeah, it is. I mean, if if uh, if you're not excited right now, if you're if, something, if you're a deer hunter, up, you're excited right now. Yeah, you take know. up crocheting or something. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have, you don't need to be in a deer hunting game, no, right? No, no. This it's is the uh, time. I mean, even you look at Facebook, everybody's talking about who's in the woods. Yep. Tell me what county you're in. Are you here when it's raining? You know, uh, and, and, and oh, to the uh, to the surprise, which is a great surprise, a lot of women are out there hunting. I I believe. And actually, I think it actually is if you look the numbers up. But women are the the number one growing they are. Uh, participants in hunting and fishing. Both. I mean, they're they're a lot more, in my opinion, percentage wise, uh, women hunting and fishing than than I've ever seen. And uh, they're doing it. They're they they're they're going by themselves. It's not that they have to have a man to carry them. No, I know of several that hunt by themselves, take do. their kids hunting. I mean, that, there's. There's several that are involved with Tennessee Deer I just love that, seeing it, man. Yeah, that are big into it. And, this uh, is uh, this weekend, my favorite weekend. We this is we it. talked about it. Uh, you know, this past year the same way. Juvenile weekend. It's juvenile I weekend. love it. I just love it. And uh, of course, I've I've be taking one of mine this year and took her last year. But even years up before that, it's my favorite weekend. I love it. it. I get up that morning and start looking on Tennessee deer hunters just waiting on those pictures to start coming and they, in. And they start coming in. And they do. And they there's do. nothing like watching the kids down, you know, doing their hunt. Now we're talking this Saturday and this Sunday. This Saturday and Sunday is the statewide youth only hunt. And we stress the youth only. That's because right. Because in the past you've been able to hunt a little bit here and there, but not, not this weekend. No, no, you can't, and that includes bow hunting. Bow hunting. I bet you, you I've had 30 people ask in the last two weeks if, we if they bow could hunt. bow hunt. No. But you cannot bow hunt during the juvenile weekend, except for uh, Lemon Between the Lakes. There's uh, Fort Campbell. Fort There's Campbell. a few places you can go to that you can hunt this weekend, but statewide you can't. Statewide you can't. Uh, and on your statewide WMAs, things like that, you, you can't, can't hunt this weekend. And... Uh, you know, there's actually been a lot of controversy about that. Uh, just in the last week, there's been some. There is every year. But, uh, you know, people saying they should be able to bow hunt. And, and it's everybody's opinion. You know, everybody has one. But uh, I, I think the reason, well, I think there's more than one. But I think one of the main reasons is you're going to be more uh, tempted to take a kid, whether you have one or not. If you can't hunt, you're more likely to take the neighbor's kid or something like That's that. That's what I think. Uh, and then on top of that, just having the pressure reduced that much for the kids to be in there. And I think it's worth every, you know, I, do too. I don't mind giving up a weekend, um, but just the chance of you bumping a deer that would have went to that kid or, you know, just it's best let them have their weekend and focus on them. And that, that I know to this day, I remember the first juvenile hunt I went on, every, every detail about it, everything about it. And uh, so it, it's the same for them. So we, we owe it to them to give them that time. Well, uh, and look what a hunter you turned out to be. Yeah, I because mean, somebody invested time. That's right. To take you. On that's a what hunt. it takes. I mean, and that's, that's, what, that's what it takes is time. And, and that's, that's what, what this I weekend think is. And the commission was all about. Yeah. 
this is an opportunity for parents or guardians or grandparents, whatever, aunts, uncles, whatever the case may be, cousins, take a kid yeah. and invest a little time with them. Uh, make sure that they can carry their firearm. Make sure that they, they can use a firearm. Make sure that they're uh, uh, accurate with it. Yeah. You know, so that's a little preamble to this weekend. And so this weekend, let them go. Let them use the grunt call, man. Let them yeah, use just let stuff. them have fun. Let them you have know, we a hit good that a little time. bit last week, but I'm gonna tell you, make sure they're having a good time. That that's what I you're is investing most important. into our future. Yeah, because I'm, uh, we said this on the show before. Uh, you know, we live in a democratic society, and 80 uh, percent of the people in this nation do not hunt. So if they all voted no, that's right. Uh, guess what? Your rights, whether you like it or not. It's going to be taken away from you. Yeah. It's just a simple it's, fact. We have it's to preserve the majority the wins. But if we win these kids and people like that and show them that it's a conservation tool and that hunting is important to maintain healthy herds of everything, mm -hmm. uh, then I think that uh, it's an investment we all should make. It is, and it's not... I mean, the hunting is a big part of it, but it's a huge personal investment. I mean, that the is. time that you get to spend with them is a little bit different than taking them to the park or uh, taking them to a movie or something. I mean, it's just you and they, you know, it's different. It's a different kind you know of time you, you brought it up that too. you get to kind of connect with them. And, it, and it's, a, it's a different it type connection that can only be explained once you've experienced it. But th there's nothing like taking them. There's not. And the greatest gift we can give to one another is our time. Yeah, that's right. So it's it, a lot of kids excited. We, oh, we've man. been getting messages. We've been getting pictures. Uh, everybody's fired up, ready to go. I can't wait till they start sending in the pictures to us either. Saturday morning. It looks like they're going to, I mean, it should just hit perfect for their weather, which it seems to every year for them uh, because of when they have the hunt planned, and that's not an accident. No. And, um, the you know, it's getting turned on and getting just right. They're going to have a great weekend, a little bit rainy. So you might want to be sure you've got them some rain gear to get them in a blind, something like that. I love the pop-up blinds. Or if you're going to use you know, a lot of stick, go get you one of those umbrellas. Get an umbrella, $20. Get you can 20 go bucks, get an umbrella, man, strap it on the tree. That's a cheap investment. And uh, keep them dry because that little bit of rain uh, Saturday with that cool temperatures in there, it's they, make move. they are going to be up moving. Uh, the moon, how's the moon going? Because we've got a full moon. Well, you know, the moon, the full moon has an effect on it. You know, some people believe it does, some believe it don't. Um, it does have a pull on them. I think, it, in my personal opinion, has more of a pull on their feeding, uh, their feeding strategies more than it does anything else. Brandon, I didn't see a deer this morning, and I usually see see deer in the mornings, but I saw them at 11 o'clock. You probably saw them in the middle of the morning today. 11 o'clock. Um, yesterday, and we're gonna have, actually we're gonna we're running a Facebook video clip for this. We're working on editing right now. But yesterday morning, Jack Reynolds, our our buddy, he was on one of our places and. I don't remember the exact times, exact times, but the moon god was reading somewhere between eight and, or I mean, seven and nine in the morning, uh, yesterday morning on the full moon. You know, a lot mm -hmm. of people. He's got some footage of the moon. You could see across our field 200 yards. You could, you know, in, yeah. before daylight, and um, from 7:30 to about 8:45, he had 16 deer in bow range of his stand, moving from the lower end of the farm where they're feeding to the upper end where we have all that bed and cover that we were talking about on that last clip. And um, every one of them moved through there at about that time and they were going in there to bed. Yeah. And so today you saw them a little bit later in the morning because it because that you know that time kind of moved forward in the in the day. And this weekend you're looking at a at a real good movement for the kids because I believe it's gonna be kind of an early morning type I think deal. It's gonna be they won't seven, have to yeah. But, but regardless, I mean, it, and Randall has said it many times on here, and I, you know, I agree 100%, but your mornings and evenings are going to be great regardless. Regardless. It's, the, it's that middle part, and it works kind of the same even in bow season, but when it's 90 degrees, it's hard to go hunt in the middle That's of the right. day all day, you That's know, right. but it works the same. But coming up over these next few weeks, 
is, is going to be when you want to get in the middle of That's right. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead right now, actually, and continue this and go into this week's weekly wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. They've got over 30 places you can go see them right here in Middle Tennessee. This past weekend, they had the uh, Oktoberfest there. It's a great turnout, like always. Great time for the families. Uh, we were out there Saturday, had a, had a really good time. So I want to thank those guys for everything they do for us and the community as well. All right. Fishing is turned on. Fishing is coming on. You know, we're talking deer hunting because it's just kind of, mm -hmm. you got a few weeks for that. But, uh, but man, fishing is really hot right now. Everybody we talk to is catching fish. Brandon, uh, I've been talking with Sam Lashley and a few others and listening to them talk. Uh, that Asian carp is, is really putting uh, a quietus to fishing. It has. We it saw some of that. It is tearing up the <laughs> shad. Yeah. Uh, the, the big balls of shad that we normally follow in the fall that tells us where the fish are because where those big balls of shad are, the, the bass and crappie and all that's going to be right there with them. Yeah. Uh, they're scattered. They've not been there in the in the big groups like that. No, we were talking about not. that at Kentucky Lake a few weeks ago. So it's made it a and, little uh, tougher for fishing, but the great news is, is the water temperatures are coming down where they get frisky, just like yeah. the white-tailed deer. A lot of people on uh, this, in the last week have had several people tell me they've done well on Percy Priest. Yes. Uh, a couple of people have, have caught some good fish on Old Hickory, but uh, Priest is starting to do pretty well. It's really turning on. Priest it seems just like keeps priest. amazing. Me. It does. So, and uh, and of course, you know, as far as on your hunting side, you know, you got juvenile, your deer, they're That's right. they're just getting into that pre-rut. We're going to talk a little bit more about it here in a little while. That's right. But calling. You know, as far as your forecast comes, your, your forecast needs to include some calling over the next couple weeks. If you're going to do some calling, it's when to do it. That's right. I want to remind you guys, follow us on Facebook. We'll keep you up to date with how our hunts are going this weekend. Matter of fact, we're going to be a couple different directions. We're going to be yeah. doing some fishing this weekend, some hunting. So, uh, got a lot coming forward. You guys follow us on there. We'll keep you uh, up to date with what's we're going, going on. And let us know how you're doing. One way yeah, one let us know how you guys are doing on there as well. Uh, right. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here in just a minute with some more Southern Woods and Waters.